Hey, hey, it's Chris Thomas. I'm always curious like when the actual second is that I go live because it's not entirely clear. <laughs> But I am Chris Thomas. Hello. This is Land Flipping 101 where you can learn how to earn your financial freedom through land investing even if you're a complete beginner with no experience. And I'm just sharing my way of doing it. Hey Lillian. Hey Moises. I'm going after larger payoffs and fewer deals. So I'm targeting retail values of, you know, at least $40,000 with the goal of doubling my investment. And then whenever possible, I'm using simultaneous or double closing strategies just to reduce risk. Today, I'm really just going to spend a few minutes to answer some questions uh, because I need to run and do a closing real quick. I'm purchasing a piece of property today and I still need to wire the funds. <laughs> so I only have a few minutes because I got to run over uh, over to that other desk and get, get that done. Um, first, I saw one question in the group from Shannon Wingfield. Shannon, are you here? I don't see you yet. Um, she asked, you know, mostly just how to get started with land investing. And you know what? It is super simple, Shannon. All you have to do is name your business, go out and get yourself a free Google Voice number, and set up like a third party mailing account. Then you can download the exact owner letter and purchase agreement that I send to property owners. And um, I'm sharing that with you. Just go to my website, landflipping101.com. Give me your email address, and I'll send you an email with the exact two-page blind offer letter. Then you would just get a list of property owners and begin mailing the letter to them. It's you know a simple, proven business model. And if you just start taking incremental action every day, you're going to find success. So let's see who's here. Hey, I see all of y'all saying hello. Thank you, thank you. David's got land deals in North Carolina. <laughs> um, I'm glad y'all are here. And today, I I don't have a ton. Uh, I was just going to answer some questions. What questions do you have? Let's see, Todd Lipinski, how do you decide which title company to use? Uh, Todd, I would suggest that you ask around in the Facebook groups, but you can also network with local real estate investors and um, they, could, they could tell you. Or just, you know, and you can network in Facebook groups. You don't necessarily have to be in that location. And then, let's see, what data to go after? Um, the data I go after is property owners that have five acres or more and their value is 40000 or more. You have to decide for yourself how much you want to make and kind of reverse engineer that. But my goal was to make $20,000 on every deal and to double my income. And so I got to, if I have a value of 40000 I can invest 10000 sell it for 30 and still make my 20,000 and I will have doubled, I'll have more than doubled, but that's that's my goal. Um, so the data I go after are property owners that have five or more acres with that kind of a land value. And let's see, Ryan asked how to sell it. <laughs> well, first of all, you need a great website listing. So you, after you do all your due diligence, you get all the information you know about the property up on a website. And then when you start posting your property, you just point all the internet traffic over to that website listing. And that makes a huge difference. Okay, where'd you go? <laughs> Let's see, David Marsh, I see your question, best way to find land. It looks like I, I may have just answered that. Um, okay, your question, um, is it Moises? or Mo I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I wanted to answer your question. You said, is being a realtor going to limit your ability to do deals? And I'll say no. I'm a real estate agent, and it doesn't limit my ability. I'm sending out letters um, as an investor, and I'm always disclosing that I have a license. Um, so that is not a problem. And then let's see. 
Ray is asking, where do I pull lists? Um, the data comes from data tree, but the data tree data comes from the county. So the the ownership property ownership records are public knowledge they're, they're public record so you can get them for free of charge if you just go to the county the register of deeds can tell you how to get it um, but I pay for a subscription with data tree because you can get all 3,000 plus counties in the country all the formatted data I'm sorry all the data is formatted the same way and so that really helps and then also because I use a pricing software, I use Priced, so I'm actually pulling my data from DataTree through Priced and they're helping me price it. So that's an extra step you didn't ask about. Um, hi Leighton, Allen, do you line up a buyer before you buy? Yes, 100%. That is my goal. Yes. I don't always do it though, but that is my goal. <clears throat> Good question. Um, it's jumping around on me so now I'm seeing Blake Copeland hello you asked if I do any subdividing I really don't um, there's so many ways that you can make money in real estate and I am just a big believer in the focus mentality focus on one thing consistently until successful and so I only focus on this very narrow niche there are many things I could do I, I could become good at fixing title problems I could become good at fixing easement problems you know and, and deal with problem properties um, I could become good at subdividing I know there are administrative lot splits you can do I just don't do all of that I have a very specific niche that I'm doing but that doesn't mean those aren't good ideas uh, they're just not what I do Some of you may know that I mentored a small group of people over the last few months and in doing so I really pulled back the curtain to show exactly what I'm doing in my business and I created this A to Z step by step blueprint showing exactly how I've been able to average about $35,000 per deal and I've been thinking about releasing this blueprint to see if I could help others get started in their land investing business and I'd really like to find a few people who'd be willing to provide some constructive feedback on it for a 50 percent discount now the investment would be nine hundred ninety seven dollars and it would be a self-study and you could join my private Facebook group and chat with me there if questions arise as you're going through it but once you finish going through it and implementing the strategies the deals will start coming in and when they do you can joint venture with me and I'll do a deal review on it consult with you on exactly what I would do all the way through to the closing if that interests you at all please send me a private message on Facebook or send me an email at Chris at landflipping 101 <laughs>